The Safe and Sound is a simple, wide-range RF detector designed to measure radio frequency and microwave radiation from 200 MHz to 8,000 MHz or 8 GHz. This frequency range covers the radiation emitted by all cordless phones, cell phones, baby monitors, Bluetooth devices, the upper and lower Wi-Fi bands, smart meters, cell phone towers, and more. Its compact size allows you to quickly and discreetly view the approximate levels of microwave radiation in your area, and it's small and durable enough to carry with you everywhere. It was designed to be the most accurate, easy-to-use, and cost-effective device that requires no technical background. To help with identifying the various sources of radiation, the Safe and Sound also includes a built-in speaker. Unlike other detectors in this price range, the Safe and Sound truly covers the claimed frequency range with a more even response. It has the ability to detect very short RF pulses, which is a feature normally found only on more expensive units. The battery life is a full 8 hours with the speaker on, and more than 12 hours without sound. If you forget to turn the unit off, it will do this automatically after about 30 minutes to conserve battery life. Included in the box is a meter with two AAA batteries installed, the operating manual, and a carrying case. Different levels of RF radiation are displayed by the LED indicators as shown here. They are chosen very carefully by Safe Living Technologies to reflect the latest building biology guidelines and safety recommendations for sleeping areas. Readings with a flashing green are ideal, however they are often very difficult to achieve. Readings with a solid green, slight range, are safe and suitable for long-term exposure. For readings found in the yellow, moderate range, try to reduce this level for long-term exposure. For readings found in the orange, high range, try to limit your time spent in these environments. Readings with a red or flashing red extreme range should be considered too high. Avoid this exposure level whenever possible. To begin measuring, Power the unit on by sliding the power switch up as shown. To enable or disable the speaker sound, simply move the switch from the middle to its highest position or back down again. Hold the meter like this and note the direction in which the meter is measuring. Scan an area for the highest reading. Be sure to move the meter in all directions while scanning and keep the meter at least 30 centimeters or one foot from your body. If the RF levels are at or below a safe long-term exposure level for sleeping areas, the green LED will be solid or flashing if it is an ideal RF level. Try to keep your sleeping areas in this range. Daytime exposure will vary as many locations will be outside of your control, but use this detector to identify and avoid higher exposure areas. Here is an example of the unit measuring a nearby cell phone base antenna system. Note, each source of radio frequency radiation produces different sounds on the safe and sound, which can help to identify sources in your environment. We also have a sound library on our website at slt.co. When very high levels of radiation are measured, the red LED will flash as shown. Areas with this kind of RF radiation should be immediately avoided. When all the LEDs flash, the batteries are low and need to be replaced. Once again, the Safe and Sound is designed to allow quick and discreet measurements. Areas of concern can then be avoided, and if needed, more detailed measurements can be done with a more advanced RF meter. In any case, the goal is to reduce your exposure as much as possible. For more detailed information about the Safe and Sound broadband RF detector and the dangers of long-term exposure to microwave radiation, please visit the Safe Living Technologies website at slt.co.